This movie is about pulmonary incompetence, also called pulmonary regurgitation, and replacement of the pulmonary valve. The heart's right ventricle pumps blood to the lungs through the pulmonary arteries. As blood leaves the right ventricle, it passes through the pulmonary valve. The function of the pulmonary valve is to prevent blood from returning to the right ventricle from the pulmonary artery. If the pulmonary valve leaks, some blood that has been pumped out of the heart returns from the pulmonary artery back into the right ventricle and this is called pulmonary incompetence or pulmonary regurgitation. There are a number of possible causes of pulmonary incompetence, but it occurs most commonly as a result of treatment of congenital heart conditions such as tetralogia fallow or pulmonary stenosis. You may wish to view our separate movies on these conditions. The main effect that the pulmonary incompetence has on the heart, if the leak is severe enough, is to cause the right ventricle to dilate, which means it becomes larger. The heart generally copes well with pulmonary incompetence, often for many years. However, significant pulmonary incompetence usually requires treatment at some point, and the treatment required is replacement of the pulmonary valve. Pulmonary valve replacement may require open heart surgery, in which a new valve is sewn into place directly. Once the valve has been implanted, blood that is pumped to the pulmonary artery no longer returns to the right ventricle. It may be possible to implant a new pulmonary valve in a keyhole technique, which avoids the need to open the chest at an operation. In the keyhole technique, a new valve is passed to the heart through the veins and is expanded once it is in the correct position. Once a new pulmonary valve is in place, the right ventricle usually becomes smaller, possibly returning to a normal size. Regular follow-up is required after a pulmonary valve replacement to check on the function of the valve over time.